This is America in Space, a weekly news and information program on current events dealing with the space industry. Welcome, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Don Meyer, Space Coast News Editor. It's been decades since the launch pads at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station had crew access arms for loading astronauts onto rockets. That changed this week when SpaceX began the addition of a crew access arm to its Launch Complex 40 tower. That means that astronauts can launch from either of SpaceX's launch pads at the Kennedy Space Center or the Space Force Station. Why is that important? Here is Will Robinson-Smith from Space Flight Now to explain some of the current scheduling bottlenecks that this new access arm will alleviate. SpaceX took a big leap forward with its ability to launch both crew and cargo missions from here in the state of Florida. Right now, it only has that ability from one launch pad that's at Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. And the reason for that is because this particular pad has a support tower with a crew access arm that reaches out to the Dragon that sits atop the Falcon 9 rocket. But on Monday, they added a new crew access arm to the tower that was recently built at the launch pad at Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And sources tell Spaceflight now that that may come into use as soon as January January for a crew mission. The arm is one of the last major pieces needed here before it can support Dragon missions, and it couldn't come at a better time. Sources tell Spaceflight now that Axiom Space is poised to use the new outfit to support its third private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. The AX-3 mission, led by former NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, is set to launch in mid-January. That crew mission is scheduled to lift off at about the same time as Intuitive Machine's first mission to the moon. The Nova Sea lander for the IM-1 mission needs to be fueled at the launch pad in the run-up to liftoff. It's a capability that currently is only available at Launch Complex 39A at KSC. So, in an ideal world, IM-1 would take the Kennedy pad and AX-3 would take the Cape pad. But all of that depends on if the tower at Space Launch Complex 40 can be completed in time. If not, sources tell Spaceflight now that AX-3 gets priority at Pad 39A and IM-1 would shuffle to another date. It's a tricky maneuver since IM-1 only has a handful of days each month during which it can launch to the moon. With the crew access arm now in place, SpaceX has a real shot to get both missions done in January and clear space for a busy schedule to the International Space Station in 2024. NASA and SpaceX have previously said that construction on this tower would wrap up by the end of this year. One of the last pieces that's still outstanding, though, is the emergency egress system. Think of it like a large zipline system that would allow both astronauts and support crew to quickly move away from the pad and the rocket in case of an emergency. The addition of this new access arm will provide more opportunities for a variety of launches in 2024 and beyond. Thank you for joining me. Remember each Tuesday to join David Denault for America's Return to Space and join me every Friday for America in Space. From the Florida Space Coast, I'm Dawn Meyer, Space Coast News Editor for About Space Today. Thanks for listening. Be sure to share our program with your family and friends and follow us on Facebook. Join us each week for news and information on America in Space.